So here we are in the viewport and hopefully if you're also using the blank project from Unreal Engine 4 as I'm doing right now, this will be your default level and it should look uh, it should be looking perfectly fine in my case it's not looking that good because i've set the uh, graphic setting to a bit low because i also have to run a screen recording software simultaneously the first thing you have to do is to create a blank uh, folder you can do it by right clicking and uh, adding a new folder or simply you can what you can do is go into the blueprints uh, create a new game mod a game mod and uh, it will automatically create a blank folder for you in my case i will be renaming this game mod to instead of my new game mod i will be renaming it to my game mod okay fine let it be saved and there we go what a game mod actually does is it store all of the information about your character so that you don't have to um, insert it manually in each and every level so just drag and drop this map mod over here into the into the blueprints we have to create a new blueprint class a character which should be a character rename and rename this character to something like parkour underscore bp underscore character so this will act as our main character in the game which will uh, walk in the forward direction backward direction and look left and right and perform all of his actions go into a uh, my game mode and we have to change the default pawn class to my character which we just created parkour bp character the next thing we will do is go into the project settings in the edit mode and because we have to make some changes in maps and modes maps and modes in my case the default game mode have already been set to wait a second has already been set to my game mode but if in case your game mode is something else just turn it on manually by setting it to your default game mode so the next thing you do is uh, save everything it's a good habit in case your engine crashes so just open up the, your parkour bp character and we have to add a new component which is supposed to be a camera and what this camera will help us to do is it will uh, help us to see whatever is going on inside the uh, inside the map or in the game always keep remember to attach the camera to our mesh to the play mesh and place it somewhere here so that we can get a proper first person four person view first person view and uh, everything looks fine and in the event graph delete all of these nodes except event begin play we will be needing it later on in this video and now inside uh, game project settings and inputs we have to create an action input for jumping and for that we have to rename it to jump and the key keyboard key will be set to spacebar so that whenever we press the spacebar the uh, our character will perform jump the next thing we have to do is create three axis mappings one will be for forward and backward movement so rename it to something like forward underscore backward and the key keys which we will be using will be w and s or maybe up and down key uh, we have to create two keys uh, not this one we have to create two keys one will be w uh, w or up you can use up key or w and the next thing is s or downwards or down key just like that and change the scale on s to minus one so that it can perform the uh, opposite reaction or the opposite movement to w the next thing we have to do is the next input will be for looking uh, right and left looking wait a second look underscore left underscore right so now what we will be doing is we will be using our mouse's uh, x value in order to look left and right and in order to do that this type mouse x and uh, we have to do the opposite of this for looking uh, up and down looking underscore not left look up underscore down we will be doing opposite to this 
whatever we did in the left and right we will be searching for mouse y mouse y and the scale will be set to minus one similarly what we did to the s or the backward movement next thing we have to do is uh, here we have to do some blueprinting and stuff and for that we have to search for the input we just created axis mapping which we just created forward and backward axis mapping and from here we have to search for get player player rotation no 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 we don't need no get player rotation we will be needing uh, get controller control rotation get control rotation and from the return value we have to search for forward vector And from our axis value of our forward backward input, we have to search for uh, search for add movement input. And from the world direction, we have to connect our get forward vectors, return value, and so on. And select all of these, right click and create a comment box. And uh, just rename this comment box to something like uh, something like mm, basic underscore movement the next thing we have to do is set up looking rightwards leftwards and up and down all of these looking set up and for that we have to search for our axis mappings which we just created look left and right and looking up and down and from the axis value of looking right and left we will be searching for add control yaw controller yaw and for the up and down input axis input we will be searching for add control pitch and again uh, just play it in order to test whether our inputs everything is working fine just delete the default player start and create and just drag and drop our new player in here and just play and for some reason it's not working which is totally natural I'll try to figure it out what's happening maps and modes let me check everything is fine over here and after spending so much time on figuring out what was wrong what i did is we will be needing player start instead of using a parkour character and if the case if it's the case with you just simply uh, place your player start over here uh, restart the project save everything restart the project and it will work fine so here we go we can move move forward backward with full uh, with full ease everything is working fine we can look right one and left but the problem is we cannot look up and down and that is totally fine because in our parkour bp uh, just get in the viewport and in our camera our use pawn control rotation is unticked so just tick it again and just test it again and you will notice that we can move forward and backward we can look up and down left and right and everything is working totally fine as it should be the next thing we will be working on will be jump and double jump setup but before that we have to create a comment box for our looking setup too right click create a comment box and look looking setup because it is helping us to look forward uh, look left and right up and down and so on the next thing we have to do is jump and double jump setup and for that we have to just just we have to get a reference to our action input jump which we just created a few seconds ago over here at the top action mappings and everything else is fine too in the player bp uh, if it's released if jump is released that means we have to stop jump jumping and if it's pressed the process is a bit complicated just search for do n do n 
and this one and the n value should be 2 so that if you're pressing the spacebar twice and search for event on landed if if we are landed this situation will be resetted and if it's not really landing and we are pressing the spacebar twice it will do a switch on integer connect with the exit we will be creating two pins uh, 0 1 and 0 1 2 from 1 we will be search we will be searching for launch character launch character and even the second pin will be connected with it too just tick the z override and the launch velocity on the z axis will be set up to 480 now we are going to use our event begin play and for that we have to get our reference from our player uh, character movement from our character movement not the mesh character movement and from here we have to search for get not not get set plane constraint enabled and enable the constraint and plug it to the play uh, event begin play and everything as far as it's considered is perfectly fine now just create another comment box and just rename it to something like jump and double jump awesome just make more room for the other node which we created in here just select all of these and place it somewhere here nice simple crystal clear everything's fine now save everything and start testing out our level so here we are we can look here and there we can move forward backward we can look left right up and down and also we can jump not only jump we can also perform a double jump which is not that uh, important for now double jump is just optional if you want to ignore it you can but if you want to use this in your game in your parkour game it's totally awesome so this is it for this video and i'll see you guys next time until then peace